Finally, Yuffie made a solar panel for its Yuffie cameras. So let's open this up. Hello guys, Lifehackster here. Well, finally, Yuffie made a solar panel to charge their battery-powered cameras. This is the most requested accessory that Yuffie owners wanted since they started selling their Yuffie cams. And finally, they made one. So today, we are going to check and test it out. So we will do a quick unboxing first and do the install. And I'll be hooking up my UFI cameras and see if this will keep them charged. Now, with solar panels, it is highly recommended to charge your cameras first in a regular plug and use the solar panel to keep it topped off and not use it in a used up or almost empty battery. But with my testing later on, the cameras that I'll use will be down on their battery levels. And I just want to know how fast it will charge the Yuffie Cam 2C, which has half the capacity, 6700 mAh, than the Yuffie Cam 2 or the Yuffie Cam E, which have 13,400 mAh capacity. Yuffie has advertised their Yuffie Cam 2 and the Yuffie Cam E cameras as to be able to last for a year before needing to be recharged, and their 2C cameras for up to 6 months. I usually get 3 months with my 2C that I've been using in my front garage area and that is working and recording every day when we get in and out of the house. My Yuffie Cam E lasted about a year, but I don't really use it all the time, and the same thing with my Yuffie Cam 2. Compared to Arlo, Ring, and Reolink cameras that I have, the Yuffie's batteries last me usually longer than the other brands. Might not be close to their advertised battery life, but still better than the other brands. Let's check out its specs first. So this is a solar panel for continuous charging. So this solar panel is compatible with all battery-powered Yuffie cams. It has a 2.6 watt high-efficiency panel, and it is weather and dust-proof. It is IP65 rated, and it comes with a 13-foot or 4 meters cable with spool. And I just noticed, is that a dash cam? Wow, might be to compete with rings. Cool. So this solar panel is compatible with the Yuffie Cam 1 and 2 and the 2 Pro. The Yuffie Cam 2C and the 2C Pro and the Yuffie Cam E. Time to open up the box. We have some paperwork and the user manual and we have the solar panel. It has a matted rubberized texture which is not shiny glass or plastic like other brands. On the back is an area that you can wound in the extra cable. And this is actually a pretty neat idea because it just doesn't look good if you have an extra cable hanging around like the one that I did with my ring solar panel. So kudos to Yufi on this, and you can secure the cable in place by hooking it up in the notch. Also what I like is the quarter 20 thread at the back, so that I can install this using regular camera mounts and actually I'll be using a gutter mount in my testing, so that I'll be able to take advantage of the whole sun, and you will see that later on. Build quality of this solar panel is pretty good, just like the Yufi cameras. What else is inside the box? We have the traditional outdoor mount, just a bit longer to clear the panel. All aluminum, even the ball head, which I like, definitely rust proof. Most mounts, even if they say aluminum or corrosion resistant, like the one I bought at Amazon a while back, have their ball head made of steel and just plated, which still corrodes. But with a Yuffie, it is all aluminum, so it will not rust. Next, we have some adapters, depending on the Yuffie cameras that you have. We have one here for the Yuffie Cam 2C and the 2C Pro. We have one for the Yuffie Cam 1 and 2 and the 2 Pro, which is more than a gasket, and I'll show you later on how to install it. And we have one for the Yuffie Cam E, and also for their Yuffie Cam Solo, which I don't think is out yet. And I think I remember Yuffie is going to send me one when it comes out. So I'll show you how to set this adapter to the Yuffie Cam 2. First, slide the rubber gasket in the micro USB plug, then plug it into the back port of the Yuffie Cam 2. Make sure you push it down flush so that it will have a good seal to make this connection weather resistant. And this is also comes with a protector and extender part, which you need to screw in the quarter 20 thread, and this protects the connection. And it also extends the quarter 20 thread so that you can easily mount this to its screw-in mount or most aftermarket screw-in camera mounts. By the way, you'll not be able to use the magnetic mount with the solar panel cable installed. You have to use the screw-in mount. With the Yuffie Cam 2C and the Yuffie Cam E, it is easy as sliding the rubber gasket into the micro USB plug and plugging in on the bottom of the Yuffie Cam 2C or at the back of the Yuffie Cam E. 
time for installation and testing. But before that, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and consider subscribing and hit that notification bell so as to get notified when I upload product reviews like this video, product updates, comparison videos, and long-term reviews. I appreciate it. As you can see, the, my Eufy Cam 2C will be the first camera that will be tested. It's going to be testing this all day and see how much charge are we going to get from 18% uh, charge. And this is what it looks like on the uh, attachment point on the micro USB port. And I've installed the rubber gasket seal so that this connection right here is weather sealed. Okay, I'm going to show you what the solar panel looks like in the settings of the camera so i have to choose a uh, solar panel I'll, I'll go to power manager and the power source you have to switch it to solar panel but one thing's weird though as you can see right here it says 19 percent so we are already charging and it's been about what 30 minutes that the sun started hitting the solar panel but if I change my power source, this is not automatic, so you have to choose it. If you change it to battery, okay, I'll show you first. See, there's nothing going on right there, okay? It just says 19%. But this, uh, I change it to solar panel. You'll see there's like a little yellow icon for the solar panel. And it's currently charging. So if you go back to power manager and power source, if you switch this to battery, And you can see right there, the battery is charging, right? That's the icon when you know that it's charging. If you click in solar panel, you see we'll have the confirmation page, which that's how, how my setup is right now. So I have normally that's what you're going to do. And you click confirm. And it turns off. That little charging icon turns off. So I'm Okay, so it's 11.53, about three hours in. And... I still have full sunshine in the solar panel. So I'm just going to show you guys. About an hour ago, it was 28%. But as you can see, it is in the settings of the camera right now. It still shows 28%. But don't panic. Um, don't don't panic because what you need, just need to do is just get out of the settings it doesn't automatically refresh so same thing here you have to get out and then go back in to the settings and now it's 35 percent and that's three hours in from 18 percent when we first started but so now the sun is setting and it is 546 and it is 44 percent so it's about seven seven hours of seven to eight hours of sunlight and that's what the charging was for the uficam 2c so we got the power source of solar panel let's see if it's still charging i change it to the battery and see if it will change uh, no, it's not changing, so it's not charging anymore. Okay, so now I've installed the Eufy Cam 2 Pro and ready for tomorrow's testing. So it is the end of the day of the second day of testing of the Eufy Cam uh, solar panel. And now it's ch it has charged my Eufy Cam 2 Pro. And from 51%, it is now up to 65%. So there's about a 14% increase in charging. And that is about 7 to 8 hours worth of sunlight. Now the main purpose of this testing is I just want to know the difference if there's a difference between uh, charging a lower capacity camera like the Uficam 2C as compared to the Uficam 2 which has a higher capacity battery. And as you can see there is a difference but both of them are being charged by the Uficam solar panel. But it is highly recommended for you to plug in and charge your cameras first to 100% before putting in the solar panel. And the purpose of the solar panel is just to top off 
or to trickle charge your, your camera's batteries. So the UV solar panel is a long-awaited accessory if you have UV cams at your house. I think it really depends on your use if you need one. Even in my front garage area where I have my UV cam 2C for a while now, and it gets activated 3 to 4 times a day, I only have to charge it around every 3 months. So I really don't need to have a solar panel. And by the way, I did a video of a charging hack that I'm still using to charge my UV cam 2C. And this without needing to unscrew the camera from the mount or run extension cables to the camera. And I'll link that video in the description down below if you want to check it out. But if you're needing to charge your UV cameras every month or so, then you do need to have this solar panel to continually top off the battery. Any questions? Comment down below and see you in the next one.